Welcome to an introduction to the Red Hen CRM, a tool that uses basic Drupal building blocks to help make customer relationship management easier. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about the pieces that make up a CRM, how Red Hen is unique among other Drupal integrated CRMs, and then we'll get Red Hen set up and configured. Ready? Let's dive in. Before we get started, let's take a look at what exactly makes up a CRM. Any customer relationship management software has, at its core, these basic pieces, and Red Hen is no different. Contacts allow you to track the personal information of your customers, whether or not they have accounts on your website. Organizations allow you to track companies or other groups of interest. Connections help define the relationships between your contacts and organizations, and engagements can help track a contact's activity within your organization. What makes Red Hen unique is that each of these building blocks are custom entity types in Drupal. This means that once set up, familiar Drupal site building tools like views and rules modules can use CRM data in interesting ways. Let's take a look at setting up Red Hen to see this in action for ourselves. The Red Hen code can be downloaded from redhencrm.com. Here you can find some other information about Red Hen's features and stay up to date with their blog posts. The Red Hen code is also available on drupal.org at drupal.org slash project slash redhen. Okay, let's get started using Red Hen. Here I have a basic Drupal installation, Drupal 7 with no modules enabled, but I have downloaded Red Hen already. So let's visit the modules page. If we scroll down on the modules page, we can see all of the modules that Red Hen provides. For this demonstration, we're gonna enable the Red Hen module, Red Hen activity, Red Hen contacts, Red Hen dedupe, Red Hen engagement, fields, notes, organizations, and Red Hen relation. We're also gonna enable the rules and rules UI and views and views UI modules. These will come in handy later. We'll see that those choices require some additional dependencies, C tools, entity tokens, the relation module and message module. We'll go ahead and click continue. Okay, once we've enabled the Red Hen modules, we're gonna visit our website slash Red Hen. Let's go ahead and change a few settings. On this page, we have a couple of different options. The first thing I wanna point out is to treat Red Hen paths as administrative. These will use our admin theme on any of the Red Hen pages. Another setting to highlight here is how Red Hen contacts relate to Drupal users. For this site, we wanna connect our users to Red Hen contacts and mirror Red Hen contact emails to Drupal users. So we're gonna check those two options. We'll come back to these user registration settings in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and save our configuration. Okay, now that we have some basic settings saved, we're ready to visit our Red Hen dashboard. The URL for the dashboard is the name of our site slash Red Hen. Here we can see the CRM dashboard provided by Red Hen out of the box. Let's go ahead and add this link to our default shortcuts so we can get back to here quickly later on. In order to take a look at the basic building blocks Red Hen provides us, we'll click on the structure link next. From this page, we can create different contact types, organization types, as well as manage notes and engagement scores. Let's start off by creating a couple of different contact types. In this example site, we're gonna be using Red Hen to manage the relationship between Drupalize Me and Lullabot staff members and create a directory of sorts. So let's add a contact type. We'll create a contact type called staff and click save. And then we'll add another contact type, member. Okay, so now we have two different types of contacts our CRM knows about, staff and members. These contact types are like any other Drupal entity. We can add additional fields to them. So let's go ahead into the staff contact type and manage fields. And let's say we want to track our staff members' drupal.org user IDs. We'll add a field for drupal.org username. We'll store some text. The defaults here are fine. Again, we'll leave the defaults for this field. Going back to our contact types, for members, in addition to their contact name and email address, let's say we also want to record their phone number. So we'll add a field for phone. And for simplicity's sake, we'll just make this a text field. And again, we'll just keep the defaults. Okay, we've got a couple of basic contact types set up. Let's go back and create a couple of different types of organizations. We'll add an organization type for a company, and we'll add another organization type for user group. Just like with contacts, since these are Drupal entities, we can again add additional fields here. We'll skip adding additional fields to the organizations for now. One additional thing that's gonna come in handy in a minute is having another vocabulary available. So let's click Structure and Taxonomy, and we're gonna add a category here for Department. We'll use this to track which department of a company someone is in. The reason why it's a vocabulary will become apparent in a moment, but let's add some terms here. 
we'll say within the Drupalize Me team, we have developers, we also have trainers, we have designers, and we have a marketing team. That's a good start. Let's go back to the structure page and add a type of relation. You'll notice here that Red Hen has already created a couple of relation types for us, organizational relation and personal connection. Organizational relation is used to relate a person or a contact with an organization, while a personal connection is used to relate a contact to another contact. Since these relations are also Drupal entities, we can add fields here. So let's go into organizational affiliation and manage fields. Here we have a couple of fields already set up, affiliation status, organization role. Now we can add department as well. We'll use a term reference field and a select list. And now we'll be able to track which department someone belongs to. Now that we have this department set up with our relation, let's go back to the CRM dashboard. We've set up a couple of contact types, a couple of organization types, and we've modified the organizational affiliation relationship. Let's do a little bit of data entry so we can see our work in action. I'll click the contacts link here, and you'll notice we don't have any contacts available. So let's go ahead and add a contact. I'll add myself first as a staff member. Let's add a few more contacts. Now that we have a few contacts, let's go ahead and add some organizations as well. We'll go back to our CRM dashboard and organizations, add an organization, in this case a company, Now that we have a couple of organizations set up, we're ready to start creating some relationships. Back on our CRM dashboard, we're going to click on Contacts and then Kyle Hoffmeyer. This is Kyle's contact dashboard page. In this case, we're going to create a new connection for Kyle, so we'll click on the Connections tab and add a connection. Here we can see our two different relationship types, Affiliated With and Personal Connection. Affiliated With would create an organizational affiliation. In this case, we're going to say that Kyle works at Drupalize Me, a company, and Kyle is an admin there. You'll notice with this help text, we haven't actually implemented any permissions or access controls, but we could down the road if we wanted to. That department field we added earlier, that also shows up here as well, so we can list Kyle as a trainer when we create this connection. I'm going to go ahead and do a little more data entry to create some more connections. Now that I've gone through and created a few different connections between our example contacts, we're ready to create a staff directory. So I'm going to click on Structure and then Views. I'm going to add a new view and we'll call it Staff Directory. In this case, we're going to show Contacts, one of the custom entity types created by Red Hen. We only want to show Staff Contacts and we'll leave them unsorted for now. Let's show a table view of fields. Let's go ahead and display 20. I'll click Continue and Edit. Okay, let's add a few fields to our table. We want to add the first name and last name of our contacts. We'll click Apply. The defaults are fine here. And then under the Advanced tab, we're going to add our relationship filter so we can take a look at which relationships this contact has. So we're going to pick the Organizational Affiliation Relationship, and we're going to require it. We can go ahead and click Apply. And then under Contextual Filters, we're going to add a filter for the organization name and click Apply. When we don't have an organization name in the URL, we'll display no results found. If I scroll down here to the preview of our staff directory, we can see that we don't get any results right now. But if I enter in one of our company names and update preview, what we get back is a list of all of our Red Hen contacts that have an organizational affiliation with the Drupalize Me company. This view is making use of the relation entities provided by the Red Hen module, as well as the organizations and contacts that we set up earlier. Now that we've set up the basic contact and organization types we're interested in tracking, let's take a deeper look at the contact dashboard. Red Hen's contact dashboard provides us with an out-of-the-box bird's-eye view into a contact's information, connections, and engagements, and also gives us a way to leave notes and track their activity. Let's take a look at an example. Back from our CRM dashboard page, we'll click the contacts link, and then we'll click into one of our contacts. From here, we can see a summary of the information we have about this contact. The name is Kyle Hoffmeyer. We don't have an address on file. His primary email address is starwars at lullabot.com, and he has an engagement score of zero. There are links here to be able to edit this contact, view the Drupal user associated with the contact, 
archive or delete the contact as well. The main tabs we're going to be interested in are up here. The summary view, connections, which we already took a quick look at. In this case, Kyle is affiliated with the Drupalize Me company. We can see a record of any of his engagement scores, which we'll look at in a few minutes. The notes tab allows us to leave notes about our interactions with Kyle. So I can leave a note here by clicking the add note button and I can save this note. Under the activity tab, we can see a running record of all of the different types of activity that have happened with this contact. We can see here when the contact was created, when any connections have been changed or made, as well as notes and engagement scores. If you'd like to experiment with Red Hen CRM without having to do all of this data entry, I highly recommend checking out the Red Hen CRM demo distribution. This demo distribution will create a few different default contact types, organization types, relation types, as well as pre-populate it with a bunch of sample data you can use to build out features for your site. We'll take a look at the types of sample data you get from this distribution in a demo coming up. Once we have the basic contact and organization structure set up and some data populating our site, another Red Hen tool we can leverage to help us provide more information about our contacts are engagements. The Red Hen engagement system is built on top of the rules module, which means you can start tracking engagements without writing a single line of code. Let's take a look at an example. From our CRM dashboard, we're going to click Structure and then Engagement Scores. Here we're going to add an engagement score and we're going to call this one Daily Sign-In and we're going to give this 10 points. I'll click Save Engagement Score. Now that we've created an engagement score, we need to wire it up so that an action actually triggers the score being created. To do that, we're going to click on Configuration and scroll down to Rules Module. We're going to add a new rule and we're going to call this rule Login Engagement. The event we're going to react to is a Drupal user logging in, and we're going to click Save. When a user logs in, we're going to add an action. The action we're going to add is to score engagement by user ID. We're going to trigger the daily sign-in engagement score. The selector we're going to use here is the logged in user, and we're going to trigger that with the Red Hen contact. And the user ID that will receive that engagement score is the user ID that logged in. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now we can give this a try. Now that we have our engagement set up, let's take a look at it in action. We're going to go from the CRM dashboard to our contact listing and then Kyle's contact page. From Kyle's contact dashboard page, we can here see his Drupal user account that's affiliated with this contact. If I click on Drupal user, we're then given the option to link this contact with a Drupal user account. In this case, we don't have a Drupal user account yet for Kyle, so we're going to choose create new. We'll give him the password of Kyle would be very easy to remember. And we'll go ahead and click link user to create this account. Now that we've created a Drupal user account for this contact, we just need to wait for the contact to log in before their engagement score will be adjusted. Here in a different browser window, I've logged in with this new Drupal user account. After this Drupal user has logged in, if we revisit Kyle's contact dashboard, we can see that his engagement score is now 10. If we click on the engagement tab, we'll see a list of all the different engagements as well as the time they happened. You'll also notice there are these collapsed filters where you can check on different types of engagement scores or look at engagements that happened from and to a particular time range. Another killer feature of Red Hen CRM is the contact deduplication module. If your site is set up where contacts are independent from Drupal users, you may over time develop some duplicate records. This module helps you cross-reference contact records to identify potential duplicates and help merge their records. Let's take a look at how this works. For this demo, I'm using an installation of the Red Hen demo distribution we talked about earlier, since it already comes pre-populated with a bunch of sample data. From the CRM dashboard, I'm going to click on Contacts, and here we can see a list of contacts, where Dax Fay is listed twice, Brie Arnold is listed twice, Lisa Toledo, etc. We have quite a few contacts set up in the system already. So let's take a look at how deduplication works. In order to see how this deduplication works, we first need to enable the Red Hen dedupe module, which we've already done here. This will add an additional link in our menu, Find Duplicate Contacts. We'll go ahead and click that link. From the URL Red Hen dedupe, we're presented with the dashboard to configure how we want to check for duplicates. In this case, we want to check our contact properties, first name and last name, and compare that to the address, first name and last name fields. We'll limit this query to active contacts and click Submit. This will go through and compare all of the fields on our contact records that we've specified and give us a list down below. 
Here we can see that Becky O'Neill has two different contact records, 57 and 58. I can take a look at those by clicking on the links here. Once I've compared the contact records, and I'm sure this is the same person, I can merge them by clicking on the merge link. From the merge link, I'm presented with an option to choose which is the master contact, as well as any of the different contact details between the two records. I'm going to go ahead and click merge to make this a single contact. We've quickly and easily successfully merged the two Becky O'Neill contacts we had into one single contact. The Red Hen Dedupe module lets us quickly merge two different contact records into a single contact to make sure our data is as clean as possible. Red Hen has a lot more functionality than we've had time to take a look at here. Let's take a look at some other resources we could use to build out our CRM. Another popular Red Hen module is Red Hen Donation. This module allows you to create donation processing forms and attach those to entities along with contact records. If you'd like to build a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising website, such as those that are usually built for things like marathons and walks, you might be interested in the Red Hen Razor distribution. An example of a site that's using Red Hen Razor to raise funds is the Capital Area Food Bank. Here you can see they have a list of campaigns, and each campaign has the option to donate, along with a running total of donations that have been raised. If you're interested in giving Red Hen Razor a try, with minimal setup, you might be interested in trying it out on Pantheon. It's available here from the project page with a few quick clicks. In this video, we took a quick look at the basic building blocks provided by the Red Hen CRM to make managing our relationship with our customers easier. We used these tools to set up a basic CRM for managing the Drupalize Me and Lullabot team, as an example. We looked at building a quick staff directory using the Views module, and we created a custom engagement to track users on the site with rules. We also took a really quick look at some other tools in the Red Hen suite of modules. Hopefully you're ready to give Red Hen CRM a try and build something fantastic.